Right, so hi there guys, it's Josh here. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to install the new Corsair XMS3 RAM. Uh, this is something I just got for Christmas. And you get two 4 gig chips inside. Um, there's plenty of videos on how it's unboxed and how it looks, but who wants to see that, they want to see how it's installed. So here's here's the new RAM. Um, I'm going to run you through, if in case anyone doesn't know how to do it. But this is my computer, I've got a media computer, it's fairly new, I've got the plastic wrapper on. Um, but first of all, one of the first things you need to do is, I'd say, ground yourself, so radiators, screws on plugs, ground yourself to remove any shock to the computer, so I touch the radiator there, um, and then with the computer itself, unplug everything, I mean everything, so mouse, power, and that's my screen there. Once I've done that, I'm going to press the power switch just to make sure there's nothing left in it. See how it came on then? I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but it flashed up blue. Always make sure the power's gone, press the button a few times. Uh, make sure it's turned off. And there should be some screws on the back here, look there. Um, go and screw them. Um, and I'll quickly do that in a second. If you leave me a second, I will show you. Using the multi screwdriver here. So, which one is it? It's the cross, so it's that one. There it is. Now, I'll oh, fast forward with this. Always make sure you keep your screws safe um, so you won't lose them so you can put it back easier. On this computer, um, only one side will come off. That's it. We're inside of it now. I'll turn that on so you can see what you're looking at. And depending on what computer you've got, like I said, your RAM will be placed in different areas. As you can see, my RAM's there a lot. And I think at the moment it's got two two gigs in. Um, I'm going to replace it with two four to make it eight. So to remove them, it's a case of uh, simply unlatching them and putting the new ones in. So I'm going to quickly. Turn the computer on so you see it better. There you go. So, there, there they are. Look. To do it, you're going to have to get your fingers on those and push them outwards. Mine pushes outwards to latch on. You can see there. Right, the same with the other side. Push them out. And then mine just simply pull out like that. So you need to put these somewhere safe, either in a static bag or in the old case of the new ones. So then when you do this, you get the new one out of here. Make sure you line the pins up. Get the pins nice lined up. So it'll slot right in the same place. So I can see there's a gap down there to fit with a gap on this piece here. It's going to go straight in there. Make sure you never touch the pins either because it could ruin the, the RAM itself. Like I said, if you shocked it, that's now in. So I'm clipping this back over. Clip. Like that. That's nice and in now. You can test by, you know, trying pulling it out a little bit or anything like that. Yep, just checking it all. It all looks okay. Alright, so same with the other one. Simply clip it out. Push it up a bit as well, mine. Up again. Pull it out. Put it somewhere safe. Okay, so get your new one. Take it out of the packaging. Really, really quite easy to install on this PC as well. Um, I remember my old PC; I had, I had some really bad problems with it, and it, with it being like an older model, so I've upgraded now. It was um, complicated; it wasn't it wasn't made easy at all. So again, with the new Corsair, 
it's got the heat sink as well but into that's what I'll be interested to see how it runs do a lot of uh, photograph editing um, sometimes video editing I've got a GoPro and I, I like to edit my videos push that down make sure the clips are in clips are down right, that's in solid it, takes, it does take with some boards you know like a really high amount of pressure like sometimes 22 pounds of pressure to push them down um, you know, it's, this is always a good time if you want to clean it out, you know, you can clean it out, move some dust. Uh, this is new, but I've used it a fair bit so far, my room's quite dusty, but, okay. It's always nice to check, make sure everything's okay, plugged in. That's my hard drive. Just got an SSD as well, I need to put that in, I'll probably do a video for that. Um, and it's a case of putting it all back together and screwing it back up. Okay, so that's it guys, the installation of the new... Corsair XMS3 RAM. Uh, hope this helps.